All right, I think that this is probably the fourth um, situation for finding an area under the standard normal curve or the normal probability distribution. And in this case, what we're going to find is we're going to find the percentage of data that's going to fall between 11 and 13. Now before we found the area that fell between two areas, but they were on opposite sides of the mean or the center of the curve. In this case, we're going to be finding the area that where we have a value of 11 and a value of, I'm just going to put it out here, a value of 13. So what we've got to do now is we've got to find the area in the inside of the curve that falls here. All right? And the key to this is they both fall to the right of the mean, which is a little bit different approach. And the reason it's a different approach is because of what you already know. What you already know is that when I calculate a z value, it gives me the distance or the the area between the z value and the mean. So look what happens is when I solve for these two z values, what's going to happen to me is I'm going to solve first for the z value of 11, which is going to be this one right here. And when I get that z-score for 11, and I go to my table, and I find the area of the curve associated with that z, it's going to give me the area between the z-value and the mean, which is going to be this piece right here. And that's awesome. That's exactly, you know, I mean exactly what the, the table's supposed to do. The problem is, is that when I go and I look up the z value for this value of 13, and I get a z here, and I get a value of 2734, it gives me the value between that 13, which is down here, and the mean. Well, look what's happened. I've double dipped, haven't I? Because that z-score associated with 13 counts this area, doesn't it? Well, this value counted that area. This value counts that area. So where in the previous problem we were simply able to add the two together, in this case we're going to have to do a little bit of subtraction. All right. So what I've got here is kind of a representation of what these two z-scores mean. Remember the z-score for my larger number, the 13 of 0.75, tells me that right down here, this is my 13, okay? The z-score of 0.2734 tells me that between or in this area right here where this green arrow is, it tells me that between the z-score of 0.75 and the mean, 27.34% of my data falls. It also tells me that for my smaller value of 11, which is right here, that z-score of 0.25 tells me that 0 0.0987 of the percent of the data falls between the value of 11 and the mean, which is represented by this red arrow right here. Well, look what's happened. The area that's highlighted in yellow, I've double dipped because it was included in this 27.34, wasn't it? Because that Z value for 13 went all the way from 13 to the mean. This z value of 0.25, the 0.0927, goes from my value of 11 all the way to the mean. So this yellow area that I've highlighted on the curve has been counted twice. 
it was counted once in this 27.34% between here and here, and it was counted again in the 0 0.0987 that was from here to here. So if I want to isolate, I want to isolate just one small area, then what I've got to do is if I want to isolate just this area here where my red arrow is, I just want this area here, then what I've got to do is I've got to subtract out this green area. I've got to get rid of it because it was counted, remember, once in this 27.34 and again in this 0 .0987 so I'm going to subtract out this smaller area that's counted twice. So in order to do that, in order to isolate just the area in yellow that I want, the area that falls between 11 and 13, I'm going to take the values I found in my table. I'm going to take the 2734. I'm going to take away the 9.87 or the 0 0.0987 because that 0 0.0987 is this area right here. And so when I take the entire distance, which was from here all the way down of 0 0.2784 to 0 0.2734, sorry. I subtract out, remember this little green area, it gives me the remaining area of 0.1747. Or what it tells me is the percentage of data that will fall between 11 and 13 is 17.47%. Um, so remember, if the two areas you're solving for, or the area that you're looking for between, if the values fall on either side of the mean, add them together. If they fall on the same side of the mean, subtract them so that you can isolate just the area you need and get rid of the point, or the part rather, that you have double dipped or counted twice. Hope this helps. Talk to you soon. Bye.